It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Uh, this is from VC. How can I get my young adult children to start investing? Yeah, the biggest thing, guys, is, um, you know, let them have some skin in the game. You know, there, there's now, multiple when transactions. Say, like, I don't think about your daughter as a young adult yet. She's, no, she, no, she's yeah. almost an adult. So maybe, so, okay, so maybe that is a great example, right? So I was thinking, I mean, I, like... She will be 17 in the next two to three weeks. Okay, love it. So, I so mean, how'd you get her to start investing? Well, I mean, and look, I've tried to do the simple things that we grew up with, which were allowances. Sure. But allowances, I don't know, they, they, they never stuck with her necessarily mm-hmm. because she's not... I, I, look, I'm motivated. I know how I'm driven personality-wise. Allowances worked for me. So maybe that will work for your children. Every child's a little different. But what I did find effective, because she's so analytical in her thought process, she's also super artistic. Mm-hmm. So I've got a creative that's analytical. I wonder where she got that from. But it's um, it, it's interesting is that I found that allowances and things like that, because she just squirreled it away. I mean, there's no, she's not into designer stuff. She doesn't like fancy dress up, you know, like my wife would love her to go sure. shopping and do that stuff. She's more into her art. She wears blue jeans and some ironic T-shirt, and sure. that, that makes her happy. So what I found was I had to appeal to her analytical side, which was have money that she's involved with or feels ownership with. So think about this. Her car, I made her pay half. Mm-hmm. And look, you know, fortunately, she bought something that was very reasonable. Sure. It, was a, it was a 12-year-old used car. I did make her pay half. She loves it. She thinks it's great. I've also instituted a 100% match. That's Love right. It. If you are a child of Brian Preston, you get a dollar-for-dollar dollar match mm-hmm. program. And we use this. Um, for she, we started off with just a custodial account. And then when she got older and we actually started filing tax returns, we've started doing a custodial Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's kind of incredible because we have discussions on it and she's, you know, I've even, if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen where it was recently, she had done a lot of work, um, babysitting and other things. And I, you know, had a bunch of cash built up that I owed her. And I said, Hey, do you want me to give you this cash? Or do you want me just to put it in your Roth with the match? Right. And she's like, put it in the Roth. Love I mean, it. so that's how you encourage. I would put a little carrot in their behavior. So, because look, I'm a I'm a father that tells stories. She's probably I know I drive her crazy right now, but I know someday I won't always be here, and she's gonna hopefully look back with fondness on some of these crazy stories when I have her trapped in the passenger seat of the car. But I am trying to give her enough life experience with carrots to actually encourage the behavior, not Mm -hmm. just the knowledge, because I think that's the part. It's just like when you're driving a car. You can be the passenger in a car and go to the same place and never know how to get there, but as soon as you're put in the driver's seat of that car, you will start paying attention to landmarks. You'll start paying attention, how do I get back home? It's the same thing with investing. You have to prime the pump. You have to let them drive the car, have skin in the process so they will actually be part of it. 